Good afternoon, dear children. As we had taken up the chapter, the last lesson yesterday, first of all, we will revise the chapter, the last lesson. I hope all of you have gone through the details and have read the lesson thoroughly. Because if you don't read well, you will not be able to understand the basic concept of the chapter. So first of all, we will talk about the importance of language. It is life and breadth of a country. Bhasha ka jo gyan hai, wo har ek desh ki ek lifeline hai. It is a storehouse of the nation, uh, nation's uh, culture, uh, its history, and uh, also its uh, achievements. It is a key to political freedom. 19th century was the time when Prussia, which was a part of Germany, invaded and captured the districts of Loran and Alsace. There were orders from Berlin that the French teachers should leave the campus and make way for German teachers and there won't be any teaching of French language. So this was an order which changed the concept and thus the last lesson came into existence. Ye last lesson ka jo concept hai, order of uh, Berlin se bahar aya hai. Jis order mein ye kaha gaya tha, ke aaj ke baad, koi bhi school mein French language ki padhai nahi hogi. Aur jo French padhane wale teachers hai, wo Germany, uh, ye apna France chhod kar, Loran or Loran or Alsaf district ko chhod kar wahan se chale jayenge. So the French teachers were asked to leave and make way for German teachers. M. Hamel became victim of this order. He had taught in that school for 40 long years. M. Hamel is vivastha ka jo order aya tha Berlin se. Uska Chicago or Use Alsak or Lauren May, Jo Prussian control Kartiti, Duno districts, Waha Seusko of Ne School Coach Horker, Janapada, Usne eight in Pele upna Sara luggage, Bandriata, or ugly then Use School May Dakar upna last lesson, Leah. It was a day before when he packed his luggage to leave the house. He met his class and delivered his last lesson. The last lesson word used in the chapter is the authenticity. And if we say that the title is justified, it was the time when M. Hamel went to his class and took the last lesson. He also invited him to the village from the village of the village. He also invited him to the village of the village. उस क्लास को लिया उसने अपना हर चीज जो वो याद रख सकता था वो पढ़ाने की कोशिश की और उसने उस दिन अपना बेस्ट सूट जो वो पहनता था ओकेजन्स पे वो सूट पहन के वो वहाँ पर पढ़ाने के लिए आया The lesson strikes a note of patriotic feelings and tells us about the significance of one's language language की अपनी जो खासियत है हमारे अपने मुल्क के लिए उसके बारे में एम हैमल ने बहुत अच्छी तरह मतलब बच्चों को समझाया और उन लोगों को भी समझाया अपनी भी कमियां बताई कि मैंने किस किस वक्त मैं बच्चों को और पढ़ा सकता था लेकिन मैंने मुझे नहीं पता था कि ये समय भी आ जाएगा ऐसा होता है लाइफ में जब हम सोचते हैं कि ऐसा कभी नहीं होगा लेकिन वो हो जाता है आई होप यू ऑल हैड नोटेड डाउन द डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स आफ्टर द रीडिंग एंड देन यू शुड कंसल्ट द डिक्शनरी फॉर मीनिंग्स there are some expressions which uh, can be taken care of but before we start with that i would like to highlight the main important questions which are uh, from the last year's board exam papers cbse's papers 
So the first question is, whom did M. Hamel blame for Fran's inability to answer his questions? Isme jab Fran's ne jawab nahi de paaya tha, to usne kis kis ko um, iske liye blame kiya? M. Hamel ne. तो ये आप याद रखिए कि उसने अपनी कुछ कमियां गिनाई थी कि उसके पेरेंट्स जो थे वो बच्चों को भेज देते थे फिर वो भी कभी कभी छुट्टी डिक्लेयर कर देता था कभी कभी वो बच्चों को पानी डालने के लिए बोलता था तो ये सब चीजें उसने ब्लेम किया कि इसकी वजह से बच्चे लैंग्वेज नहीं पढ़ पाए देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डिड एम हैवल डिस्प्ले हिज लव फॉर द फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज ये भी सीबीएसई का क्वेश्चन है इसको आप नोट कर लेंगे and please try to find out the answers if there is any difficulty you can ask me next then what changes came over little franz after he heard m hamel's announcement jab m hamel ne announce kiya ki ye mera aaj uh, last chapter hai aur iske baad koi chapter nahi hoga french language mein to uh, franz ke upar kya biti hai uske upar kya reaction hua kya usme change aaya then what was so strange to franz about the view in school that morning jab us waqt us subah wo tez tez daud ke aa raha tha to usne kuch changes dekhe the wo changes kya the ye aapko note karna hai please uh, go through the chapter and you will find the answers how was m hamel dressed differently that day aur kyun ye bhi uh, ek uh, bahut uh, interesting question hai ki usne uh, matlab uh, alag se ek dress pehni thi wo dress kaun si thi और उसने ऐसा क्यों किया था ये आपको मैं बता भी चुकी हूँ देन वॉट वॉज द मूड इन द क्लास रूम वेन एम हैमल गेव हिज लास्ट फ्रेंच लेसन जब एक क्लास का माहौल था वो माहौल कैसा था देन वॉट हैड द नरेटर काउंटेड ऑन टू एंटर द स्कूल अनोटिस्ड ये टन अदर क्वेश्चन वाई वर सम ऑफ द एल्डर बी पर्सन ऑक्यूपाइंग द बैक बेंचेस That day, that day, the day of the last lesson. Then why did Franz not want to go to school that day? Again, that day, the day when the last lesson took place. What was the reason? I had told you in the beginning that he could not do his homework very well, so you can take a hint from there. Then uh, why was Franz not scolded for reaching the school late? Again. that day that day the day of the last lesson how did franz perform when his turn came to recite next uh, what words did m hamel write on the blackboard before dismissing the last lesson and what was the what was the meaning of those last words the last word was vive la france and its meaning is long live france as he was very emotional he could not uh, you know read it out so he wrote it why did m hamel write vive la france on the blackboard uh, we all know that uh, you know m hamel was very much concerned about the language and french language was very close to his heart so we find that it was his uh, you know way of expressing gratitude then how did m hamel say farewell to his students and the people of the town or you can say that how he made the lesson a special one then in the last lesson what did he teach okay now some questions which you can write for long answer questions so for long answer questions number 1 who occupied the back benches in the classroom on the day of the last lesson and why here you have to write everything about the attitude of the villagers um, m hamel's invitation to them to come for the class and uh, whatever he had shared with them that you need to talk about we have all a great deal to reproach ourselves with said m hamel referring to the context and explain what he wanted to convey to his students you know he wanted to tell his students that we have to regret many things and what were those things that also you have to write so these are some of the 
important questions which I was talking about. We have to talk about character sketch. Write at least one para about M. Hamill, about his attitude, about his uh, changed attitude on the day of the last lesson. And his, uh, you know, his introspection, what he thought. Then how he highlighted the importance of a language. Okay. And then character sketch of uh, France. Then, um, you know, the attitude of the villagers and all these things. You can make a small quiz also. And uh, you can prepare your own, own quiz on the chapter. So, <clears throat> be very careful, dear children. Again, now after this uh, lesson, please go through the chapter, read again and see if you have understood all the concepts. If still there is a problem, you can put a remark in the WhatsApp group where I am attached with you people. And please stay at home, be safe. Uh, corona um, epidemic is there in our country. We need to face all together. This is part of it. This is the best thing which we all as teachers and students can do it. Uh, this is also, you know, um, a national duty. So, uh, don't leave your studies. Don't think about uh, Corona. Think about staying at home, safe. Don't, uh, you know, disobey the orders of the administration. So, thank you once again, dear children. I hope you will be enjoying with me uh, throughout these uh, days. Uh, learning something new and something good and not leaving your studies and proceeding ahead with the course. Thank you. Have a nice day.